Welcome people, I'm Filmy and Dan. Thanks for joining me. Today we are talking about something called the golden ratio. Mm -mm -mm. If you know about it, stay tuned. Maybe you'll learn a little bit more. If you haven't heard about it before, I'm gonna fill you in. Stay tuned. So if you've never heard of the golden ratio, I'm going to give you a quick and dirty here. Basically, it's this ratio of 1 to 1.618 that's found in all things or most things that are beautiful. There are studies out there that suggest that babies from the age of 3 months choose to look at objects with a golden ratio compared to something else. As humans, we are drawn to this weird ratio. There's no exact science behind it, however, it's consistently found. Architects use it, artists use it. I mean, Leonardo da Vinci used it in most of his paintings. He's that, the, the Vitruvian man, that man that's standing up, that is based on the golden ratio. So what I'm going to do is show you how I'm going to use it into practice. Basically, if someone comes in and they say, oh, I want some fillers, I want to enhance my lips, but I'm looking at them and their lips are way too big and I think it wouldn't really look aesthetically pleasing on their face if they went bigger, now I have an objective measure to you know, help them understand why I would suggest not to do so. Or if I'm looking at them and I'd say, hmm, I think maybe they can use some filler on the side of their face because maybe it looks a little narrow, um, then what we can do is use these calipers here, and I'll get into that, to show why if we put some filler on the face, maybe widen it up a little bit, it can give them more of that oval or heart-shaped face that women tend to desire. So let's get into it. I'll show you some cool tips on what to measure, and I'm going to be using that daily in my practice. Let's get going. I'm gonna come in a little closer here so we can give you these measurements. This is something called the golden caliper. It's a cool one, I like this one. This one's uh, invented by Dr. Remington, him and Arthur Swift. Arthur Swift also in invented another cool type of uh, golden caliper. I'll pick it up here. And basically these two are like your staples for measuring the golden ratio. I really like these two and I specifically like this one because it has a, a couple like more finer detailed measurements with millimeters. Yeah, this is what I'm using today. Let's get down to it. The first measurement you wanna use is the intercanthal space, which is basically like the distance between your eyes here. Bam, there's one. And the reason why we stick with that one first is because when you're looking at someone, you're usually drawn to their eyes. Intercanthal, this is what we're starting with. After that, we take the golden ratio calipers and we go from the first intercanthal, whatever one you want, and then we go to the peak of the eyebrow. Now, the peak of the eyebrow is a little different for men and women. For men, it's usually a lower uh, than women, so it's right on the orbital rim, and this is probably gonna be more accurate measurement. For women, it can be a little higher, so don't worry about that. The next thing we do is we flip this thing over, and this is our one point 618 measurement and that should be the distance of our eyebrows or the width of our eyebrows and that's pretty much bang on Let's just make sure this is right yep yep looks like i need to trim my eyebrows <laughs> not bad and then what we'll do is we flip that over and we go from the peak of the eyebrow to the top of the forehead. And again, this one's gonna change based on you know men and women. Women's eyebrows may raise, be a little higher, so it can come to just the, the edge of the, uh, the hairline here, but for me, I'm pretty short. Looks like a, I've got a big forehead. Whatever, no one's perfect. Um, the next thing we measure is the apex of the cheek. For women and men, that's different. For women, we take the 1.618, go within the intercanthal, and the apex of the cheek just means that's the area where it should be protruding the most. And for women, we want it a little bit more lateral, and this is the exact location to do it. So it's gonna be here to here, and there's a really cool test actually, another measurement, it's called the swift line. You're taking the top of the ear, go right to the nose, and then after that you take a line straight from the lateral canthus down and where it intersects, which is right here. Boom, perfect. The next thing we wanna do is we wanna measure the distance of, or the length of the nose. We're going to do that with the 1.618. 
which is the eyebrow, which is the apex. Now we're going to nose. Go from the base down. Ooh, look at that. Pretty perfect. Even though I got a little ridge here, it's not bad. Pretty good, okay, and then after that, we take our calipers and we measure the width of the nose with the number one. It's good. Pretty good, pretty good nose here. Then we flip that back around and we look at the width of the mouth. It's a good width, it's a good width. Okay, then we take that and for men, we go straight down and we look at the width of the chin. The chin should be pretty much the equal width of the lateral oral commissures or the mouth. For women, women can also have this width, but ideally most women want the one ratio where it's a little bit more pointy here. Either or if it's within that range, it's good. You just look at the person and figure out what's you know most aesthetically pleasing for them. All right, that's it for today. Short and sweet this week, but we learned a few things. I think providers for the most part probably did learn this, but aren't using it regularly in their practice and it's a shame. I mean, it builds comfort levels with patients. It gives them something objective to look at. And if I can use this little tool, spend two to three minutes measuring your face and telling you exactly how beautiful you are, I think you're gonna appreciate it. And I can get to work and do my thing. Anyways, today, was awesome. Thanks so much for tuning in. Like, subscribe, leave a comment. I promise I'll get back to you guys anytime. See you next week. Mm.